Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your sixth PSD2 responsive website tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna start styling up the header of our document. Alright then gang, so this is what the website currently looks like in the browser. And all I did to get this was click this little lightning bolt icon right there. It gives me a live preview of the website. So as I make changes on the left, they automatically update on the right. So this is what it looks like in the browser at the minute, pretty crappy. Um, so what we need to do is apply some style to this so it looks a bit better. So I'm gonna jump over to this empty style.css file and the first thing I'm gonna do is to use the universal selector to grab every element on the page. Remember, that's what the universal selector does. It grabs every single element and it applies a specific rule to each one of them. So it overrides any default browser styles applied to them. And we're gonna give every element a font family of trebuchet ms okay i think i spelled that right trebuchet ms yeah which is a web safe font and it kind of matches uh, this font here um and this font here so it's not identical to the font in the psd but this tutorial playlist is not going to be about web fonts that's for another playlist in the future okay so that's all i want to do to every single element and i'm just going to do a couple of rules which are going to be global as well. So this is going to tag all the bodies, uh, sorry, the body tag, all the URLs and all the LI tags. And I'm going to strip off the margin because that automatically comes with the body. And uh, I'm going to get rid of the padding that comes with URLs as well. So we'll set the padding and margin to each one of those elements to be zero. Next, I just want to apply a color to all the font on the web page as well. So I'm going to say P L I H1 h2 h3 and h4 and i'm going to give those a color of 4e 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 and that's like a darkish gray color like that all right so the next thing i want to do is give the body a background of a really light gray because if we look in the psd this background right here which is going to be the body um, it's f7 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 so i want to apply that background color to the body itself so I'll say body and then background is going to be hash f7 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 okay so just a subtle change but we may as well do it and then what I'm going to do is style up that wrapper class and remember the wrapper is the thing that keeps everything within a central um, 1200 pixel column so if we look at it currently it's all over on the left and it goes you know probably you can't see but if I inspect this element then what will happen is this header goes all the way, or rather this div within the header, and this h1 goes all the way across the page. There's no wrapper keeping it within a central column, okay? So let's get rid of that. I'm gonna to have to click this live link again because I inspected the element. And what we're gonna do is style up that wrapper to keep everything within a central column. So to do that, what I need to do is apply a width. First of all, I'm gonna give it 96% width. Right, and then I'm gonna give it a max width of 1,200 pixels. I'll explain all this in a second. Then a margin of zero top and bottom, auto left and right, and then a padding of zero top and bottom, and then 2% left and right. So what's happening is, I'm saying, look, I want the width of this wrapper element to be 96%, and then have a padding of 2% on each side, which essentially takes up the full 100% of the page width, right? However, if it reaches 1,200 pixels, stop there. That's the maximum width I want it to be, okay? So if I just check this out now, you see, this is the wrapper now. It's keeping it within this central column here, okay? But as we get smaller, the wrapper is 100%. So this is always gonna match what the window width is gonna be because the padding plus the 96% equals 100%, okay? So as it gets below 1,200 pixels, the wrapper is still gonna be 100% in total width. Uh, and that's the width and the padding included. Okay, make sense? Cool. So the next thing we want to do is style up the header tag. And uh, if we look at the PSD, this has a kind of lightish gray background. Let's just get the color of that. You can see it's E5, E5, E5. So let's apply that. We'll say background E5, E5, E5. Okay. And then what we need to do also is just apply a little bit of padding to this. And that's going to be on the top and the bottom. So 20 pixels top and bottom, then zero left and right. 
then what I'm going to do is target this header h1 right here. We're going to apply the uh, the background image to that. So I'll say header h1. And then, first of all, let's get rid of the margin at the top. So it zooms up a little bit. Then what I need to do is text indent minus 10,000 pixels. And that's going to make sure it zooms right off this way, off the screen. So we can no longer see the text itself. Then I'm going to give it a background of the URL, which is going to be an image. So it's in the images folder forward slash logo dot PNG. Okay. And I'm going to set that to no repeat. Then I'm going to set the width to about 140 pixels, I think. And because currently it's 100% in width, you can see that by the blue outline there. I want to make it about this big here. So if I say width 140 pixels, yeah, that's about right. I mean, we could reduce this to probably about 136 or something like that, or even 130, to be honest. Yeah, cool. 130 will do. All right, so last thing I want to do is float it to the left because that means I can get the main navigation up here on the right. So I'll do that. And then let's style up that nav then. So header nav, that's the element, remember, the nav element that we use for uh, this bit here. And what I want to do is float that to the right. Okay, perfect. Now you'll notice that the header, the height of the header has collapsed. So the height there is just the padding that you're seeing. And it's collapsed because we've floated all the content either to the left or the right, and we've not cleared those floats afterwards. And so it thinks that the height is zero. But I showed you this trick in previous tutorials where we can do something like this. Header after, which is a pseudo class, which means we can insert some content after the header. And we're going to display this content as block. And we're going to give, oops, we're going to give this some content and it's going to be empty just like that and then we're going to clear both and that's going to clear the left and the right and now we get the height back on that element pretty cool right all right then so let's style up the rest of that navigation first of all we want to get rid of this h2 so we'll say header nav h2 and then what we'll do is say line height first of all zero just to get rid of the height of that element then we're going to give it a margin of zero to move it up. And then we're going to text indent minus 10, one, two, three pixels. So minus 10,000 pixels again to get rid of that um, H2. So visually it's not there. However, it is still in the document for screen readers and things like that. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Next thing we want to do is just style up these links right here. So to do that, we're going to have to go after the UL within the nav. So we'll say header nav ul all right and then within that what we're going to do is strip out the margin in fact we don't need to do that because we've already stripped out the margin and the padding up above so we'll just go straight after the li tags we'll say header nav li and then we're going to give this a list style type of none and this is going to get rid of these little circles here okay like that perfect and then after that what i want to do is float them all to the left so they're side by side then I'm going to give them a margin to the left of each one of 20 pixels just to space them out a little bit and then I'm going to also give them a margin top of 10 pixels just to bring them down and kind of keep them in line with the center of this logo here so that looks all right now okay so let us now style up these links themselves and change their color and whatnot so let's say header Oops, spell that wrong. Header, nav, L-I-A, like that. It's going to target the links within them. And then the first thing I want to do is a text decoration of none to get rid of that underlining. All right. And then after that, I'm going to give them a different color. And this color is going to be the 4E. Is it going to be? Yeah, 4E, 4E, 4E. Okay, so now they become that dark grey, similar to this thing here and this text here. Um, that's fine. Then we're going to text transform to uppercase, like that. And then finally, I'm going to give them a font weight of bold. Okay, that, that's better. Stand out a little bit more now. All right then, so what I want to do is give this first one, which has a class of current, that green colour. So... Let's say header nav 
LIA dot current and then let's give this a new color now I need to get this color from Photoshop so let me just zoom in on this thing right here and grab that color and there we go we'll copy and paste that and we'll pop it in this rule color there we go so now the current one is this color perfect all right so that's all that header style for desktop just quickly want to style up this banner as well as you can see currently the banner if you've got a full width screen like this it just stops here and that's the size of the image what we want to do is make that image full width so to do that what I need to do is go after the div that it's in and that is the main banner div that's what the ID is and then within that we have to go after the image and we're just going to set this to a width of 100% so I'll say width 100% and then if we expand this now to full screen you can see the width of that banner is 100% okay however what I'm going to do because when it's 100% it's quite large it's quite deep you see so it pushes all this content down here so I don't want it to be that deep ever so what I'm going to do is say main banner and I'm going to give this a this is the div that surrounds the image by the way if we go to the index.html you can see that we've got a div of main banner right there okay so let's go to the style again and I'm going to say give this a max height of 500 pixels and I'm going to say overflow anything that overflows this height is hidden okay so if the image goes over high, uh, 500 pixels in height then it's going to be hidden in the CSS so now you can see the banner right here never goes so deep yet yeah, it goes fully across but this content isn't pushed down all the way when we've gone full screen okay and it's still 100% width at that width browser as well perfect so there we go guys that is the uh, header right there styled for desktop and also this banner right here so in the next tutorial what we're going to do is style up all this main content right here all right so until then don't forget to share subscribe and like guys and i'll see you in the very next tutorial